So let me give you a quick introduction into a satellite shader and um, what things to look out for, what it is, and what it can do for your course. So what is a satellite shader? So first of all, it is a shader, like a dual tech shader or OPCD shader or the standard shader in Unity. If you don't remember what shaders are, there is a theory video earlier on, much earlier on in the course. I think it's in the Unity section. I go review that. But it, what's special about a satellite shader is that it allows an overlay image, okay, to be projected and blended onto your meshes, okay, via the shader. So imagine if you could take a projector, okay, and you, you shoot that projector onto a wall. Well, you're going to be blending, depending how bright and the colors of that projector, you're going to be blending the wall, the texture and the color of the wall with the with the color that you're projecting against it. That's essentially what this satellite shader is doing. The satellite piece of this, okay, your overlay is what gets projected on there and you can, and you can manipulate that. Um, this is done on a mesh by mesh basis. So your, your fairways, your rough, your sand, your carts, any material or mesh can have its own shader, okay? So you can have one shader on your fairways. Now, typically, you have like your fairways, your roughs, um, your greens, your tees all share the same overlay, but then your bunkers and your cart paths have a different overlay, and there's reasons for that will be explained later. One thing about satellite shader, if this is your first course, um, it could be a challenge. It requires a very keen eye for colors. OK, because what you're doing is you're taking a diffuse texture. OK, that's what's used in those the standard um, like dual text, that texture, and you're blending it with your satellite texture or really the overlay piece of this. And all of a sudden you got all kinds of colors that are conflicting here. You can change opacities, you can change colors, and it requires a lot of eye, a keen eye, a lot of experimentation to get the colors light or it can look really bad. Um, I've always said that a be the best satellite shaders and the people who do it best are the ones where you can't actually notice it. Okay, I'll explain to that in a, in a minute. So the last thing I'm going to point out here is you need to do a decent amount of Photoshop or GIMP work for the satellite image that you're going to be using to project onto your meshes. Um, I've had bad results with GIMP. Uh, the reason being is I end up with several layers, and I find that as, as your project gets more complex and you add more and more layers, GIMP starts to fall on its face. Um, it ha it's not good at mem uh, managing memory, and uh, once I got past a few layers, it, it crashed, I lost work, and I became very frustrated. It took me till my fourth course, my third or fourth course, to, to start using Photoshop. It's 10 bucks a month but it made a world of difference. And so these tutorials are going to be using Photoshop. So let me show you um, what the difference is with a sat shader. So if I open up Unity, so here is Rock Creek. Um, I got my clubhouse in here, some background mountains, but I'm just using the standard dual text. If you see, I highlight this, the dual text fairway, dual text green, and I could change the colors of these. Um, but let me pause and let me apply my satellite shader so you can see what it looks like after that. And now through the magic of video editing, you see what a satellite shader looks like. So I get these effects of, um, I don't know if I applied my fairways. I didn't. Well, let me do that in real time so you guys can see it. But you see I got my mode lines here on my rough. Um, I have some you know, shading on my cart paths here. Um, things look a lot more realistic. But let me fix my fairways. I can just show you really quick. I already have everything created. There we go. Much better. And let me turn off this so you can see. There we go. Um, so you can see things blend much better. I got some mow lines in there. Um, things look a lot more natural, um, match the mountains color-wise. So that's what a satellite shader can do for your course.